All right, let's take a look now at some topics for Callahan on a couple of themes from Sunday's game. Let's start first of all with the tight ends. Chigakakwo had four catches for 50 yards. Yeah, Chig did a great job. He was he found the, some soft spots in the zone. Uh, we found some some ways to get him the ball. He, he had a really nice uh, sail route early in the game where he won on man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, it was just good to see Chig get involved and, and be active. The tight ends did a nice job in general uh, in the passing game in this game. Josh Wiley had three catches in the course of the ball game, and he made some things happen. As picked up some good yardage, averaging over 10 yards a catch. Yeah, a couple easy, easy throw and catches that, that got him into space and, and let his athleticism go do the rest and um, had a chance to get some quick throws in the ball in his hand and, and he did the rest. So it was, it was good to see him come alive a bit for us too. And the Titans get the football to Nick Vanette, the veteran tight end, who finishes the ball game with four catches, getting open for his quarterback, Mason Rudolph. And then Nick does a lot of the dirty work for us in the run game. And so things that complement that uh, in the passing game, getting the ball uh, off of some of the run actions uh, were really productive for us in the game. And then he did a really nice job with uh, finishing with some extra yardage afterwards and some gritty finishes as well. So uh, really nice game from him. Overall, the Titans tight ends 11 catches for over 100 yards. Yep. Next, let's talk about outside linebacker Arden Key's performance on Sunday as he put some things down in the stat column for sure. Yeah, he was disruptive most of the game. Uh, this early sack was, was fantastic. Uh, he was disruptive in the run game as well. Uh, made it really hard for him, especially early on in the, in the run game process when they're trying to get going. Um, he also had a, almost had a field goal block or blocked the PAT. Uh, just phenomenal effort by Arden all the way around and, and had a really nice game. Arden Key is a guy who's racked up a lot of quarterback pressures early in the season. You go back and watch the tape and you're like, man, is he close. He finally got home on Josh Allen. Yeah, and that's one of the things we, we got to keep harping on is just is finishing on the on the quarterback. Uh, we've been around them quarterbacks a lot. We've been close. We have to do a better job of getting uh, to them and getting them on the ground when, when need be. So uh, step in the right direction, certainly. Here's Arden Key making the stop on Josh Allen down near the goal line. All right, our third topic for Callahan on. Amy Wells and I had a chance to visit with NFL analytics expert Cynthia Freeland on Monday. We covered a variety of topics, including the dynamic kickoff. Take a listen to this question and answer. With the addition of the dynamic kickoff, there's been a lot of changes, and I would assume there's been a lot of statistical changes as well. What's something that you have noticed about the way that that has impacted the game overall? If I were telling a team what to do right now, I would kick it into the end zone every single freaking time until I got into a high leverage situation later in the season, and then I would do something weird because they're not expecting it. But you're, you're, the where the line yard you're at is five, it's now five yards different than it was before where you're starting in the average starting field position. So until they make it more punitive to kick it into the end zone, I, I, you're not going to see that. It's just more, it's just, you are seeing fewer injuries, which is great. We love that. We don't want any injuries on, you know, that was a highly injured part of the game, which is wonderful. And you're also seeing like, I, I just don't think we've seen the true strategy of it yet. Like we will see, there will be like some weird week 10, something weird's going to happen where a team that's maybe potentially playoff eligible. So look for these like historic coaches that have like special teams backgrounds. Like look at the Harbaugh's, look at, um, you know, uh, Sean Payton, guys who have like historically showed us things that are like, oh, damn, that is that is you got you got me good there in special teams specifically. All right. Brian Callahan, Cynthia Freeland, pretty knowledgeable. She understands all the analytics. Yep. Do you do you think somebody's going to uncover a way to utilize the new kickoff rule as we head down the stretch? Um, it's going to be interesting to see. There's there's been a lot of a lot of news and first and. Uh, experiences that no one's had before with with the new rule and it's it's been kind of up and down depending on the team and we've had some spots that uh, it's been good we've certainly kicked the ball out, out of the end zone most of the time the issue that you have is you know you go play up in Buffalo you know the one end zone is going to be all wind and so you're going to get returns uh, it's just making the most of those returns but I think most people are kicking in the end zone right now and uh, there will be an opportunity I think at some point down the stretch for one of these plays to be game-changing all right that's Callahan on